It is time for What the H? And What the H is brought to you by our friends at Annie Mason Real Estate, AnnieMasonRealEstate.com. What the H? What the? What was he thinking? Release the hounds. The Dave Hooker Show. K -k 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 keep cool. A presentation of OffTheHookSports.com. Guys, I'm going to tell you to jump all over this number on Texas a and M side. The early betting line has Tennessee a seven-point favorite versus Texas a and M. Caleb, what am I missing? Here's what we know. You tell me what, what we know about AM. And here's what I'll tell you what we know about Tennessee. Here's what we know about Tennessee. They played a Florida team and lost that got pushed around by Kentucky. Um, also, there was the Cooper Mays issue. I realized that, and I think communication was a problem. Uh, they beat a South Carolina team that's not good, and then they beat uh, a UTSA team that's not very good, a Virginia team that's not very good, and an Austin P team they looked awful beating. So I, I, I don't gamble, but when I do, I feel pretty confident. I think this is less than a seven-point game with Texas A&M coming to town. Before we get to that and your thoughts, what do you think of uh, Texas A&M this season? Give us a breakdown for, for those that are tailgating and can't be in front of the television or doing whatever they're doing, and they're just thinking about the balls. What do they know, not know about that Aggie team out west? So Texas A&M, and by the way, I want people to know this up front. I am one of those people who makes picks. I put my pride on picks. But I'm not like Skip Bayless where I'm going to go down with the ship when I realize I'm wrong and try to make an excuse for it. No, I was I was wrong on Texas A&M. I thought they were going to come apart under Bobby Petrino. Their backup quarterback, Mac. Now, I was partially wrong because their quarterback got hurt and Max Johnson's a better quarterback. Their backup. That dude is a baller, Dave. He is a baller and he is an NFL quarterback. I'm just telling you guys that right now. From what Brad I Johnson's son, he was he was raised by a quarterback. So I think he has a good feel for the position. I'm a little confused why he wasn't the starter from the get but i'll i'll let bobby petrino explain that one i am too i am too so i think i would put tennessee minus three to four and basically the only thing i'm doing is giving tennessee the line based on the nfl how nfl does it with home field advantage i think the line gives you three points for being at home that's what i would you do think for this, you think neutral side this is an even game I think neutral side, it's an even game. And I would not have said that at the beginning of the year. I'm going Tennessee minus three to four. Now, here's what I think Vegas is doing. And I saw this on the message board, and I want to mention it too. I think they're questioning Max Johnson going to Nealon for his for the first time. I think they're overreacting a little bit to how loud the crowd was against South Carolina. Not that it won't be loud against Texas A&M, but there's a couple of things. Bobby Petrino and Jimbo Fisher call plays in the huddle, and then you run that play. So the communication is, there's not going to, you're not going to have to worry if you're texting them about communication issues on the road, because there's not a lot of communicating at the line of scrimmage. You know what I'm, you get that, right? What I'm no, saying. And no, so totally get it. it's the total reverse of the hypo offense, which you, there's a lot of communication at the line of scrimmage. There's very little with Bobby Petrino's offense. So I don't think the crowd, I think they're, I think they're giving Tennessee five to six points, which I do think in college football, I don't know if you agree with me, but I think they should give more points for home field advantage for big college football stadiums like Neyland than they do in the than they should in the NFL. They're going to give you three for the NFL. You should get like five for playing at Neyland. That's a good point. Whereas if you play, let's say Vanderbilt was good at some point, what do they get a point or two? I mean, I, I your, own fans are, your own fans are showing up. If you're Tennessee, you give Tennessee two points because they're basically playing at home against Vanderbilt. But. Well, And I imagine all the other schools are like that too, right? I mean, I haven't checked out Vanderbilt's games and their, their fans, but if I'm Alabama, or Georgia, yeah, I would I would like to go to Nashville. That's a cool city and watch my team hammer the Commodores. I mean, yeah, exactly. Wouldn't you think that every team's probably like that? It's a vacay. It, I mean, Team C going to play Jerry World. It's, a vac it's as, as a vac just like Team C going to Jerry World. They don't. They, they're not playing the Cowboys. They get to see Jerry World, and they're they're they get to tour the stadium. That <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. What do you think if uh why do we Robert says we need legal counsel? I'm I'm confused by that. But what do you think if we did a vacay in like the script that we have um that we have Vanderbilt use and do it in their same colors? What would you think about that? Call vacay and maybe on the back 
you could have go balls or roll tide or whoever it is. Could we sell shirts like that? It's a vacay. That would be hilarious. And Vanderbilt fan Vanderbilt. They wouldn't, I would say Vanderbilt fans would be so mad, but they wouldn't care. Most Vanderbilt fans know what they are to their credit. They're there for academics. I'll say though, what I was getting at with Neil and the only reason I would do closer to the NFL line next week and not like the five to six points that I think you should get playing at Neyland is because it's in the afternoon and because Texas A&M doesn't change a lot of plays at the line of scrimmage. So there won't be the communication issues. So I think a standard. So that's why I said Tennessee by three to four. I don't know where seven is coming from. I tell you what Vanderbilt needs. They need a visit from the hemp house, the premier hemp dispensary online with a wide variety, great selection and strict standards to ensure you only receive the best in CBD or Delta products, go to Hemp House Chats with two T's.com. They can deliver anywhere and you get 10% off. I don't know if they need it. I think the CBD is for the physical pain and the Delta nines to have a good time. They could probably use uh, a little bit of both. Uh, Vandy is there to help the heart after the AED saves it and not football. We're, we're, we're going to provide an AED with someone who uh but I, I would like for it to be a high school it's not going to be vanderbilt they got the dad play money the thing that makes me bad, mad about vanderbilt i'm just going to say this is they've got all the money in the world and nobody invest in football does that not make you mad i mean just to cut it would just take a couple of people my cousin graduated from vanderbilt he's an orthopedic surgeon he has his own jet he doesn't pack luggage when he goes on trips. He goes on trips and his wife buys clothes. Dave, why I mean, invest in football when you can take the money from the SEC? Well, By the way, this is, if you think about well, it. I mean, this my cousin who I love gave me a great new hip. If he wanted, if, if 20 of those guys wanted to invest, you would be talking about a different Vanderbilt program. Well, and this is why, it, you know what? Vanderbilt is socialism for rich people. It, because here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. Vanderbilt, people who graduate from Vanderbilt probably make more money than people who graduate from any other school in the SEC. Right, Dave? Yes. Okay. Well, Vanderbilt contributes nothing from a football perspective to the SEC, but they are happy to take the revenue from the SEC that Tennessee and Texas A&M and Florida and Georgia and Alabama produce, and all these school students make less money in the field than Vanderbilt. So it is rich people taking money from regular people. Vanderbilt should be kicked out of the SEC for that. I'm fine with that. I'm like, fine with that. If they can't make an investment in their own sport, that's embarrassing. Vanderbilt Speaking is the make... bankers who took a bailout in 2008 after crashing the economy. Ouch. Speaking of making an investment, you need to do so uh, with Andy Mason, andymasonrealestate.com. He brings you, what the H? Uh, with Andy Mason, you've got the best service and the best prices in the biz. That's pretty awesome. That's Andy Mason. So we love him, and he is uh, just fantastic. AndyMasonRealEstate.com. You know you'll get the best prices.